Qualcomm's XR2 is a pretty powerful chip. The Adreno 650 is the most efficient graphics core in the world. Meta took the hardware, put it in the Quest 2, and capped it out. Today, I'm going to show you how you could take off those limits and customize your gameplay to your liking. Meaning after this video, you're going to be able to boost your frame rates, make your battery last longer, change the capture bitrate so you could record in widescreen, and optimize your games to their full potential. Without further ado, let's get started. First off, you need to have developer mode turned on. To do this, you're going to need a developer account. You can create one by clicking the link I put in the description below. Then you're going to have to turn on developer mode, so go to your app, click menu, then devices, scroll down to settings until you see developer mode, Click it and then toggle the switch on. Next, you're going to have to go to the itch page I linked in the description and download the app. There is where you're going to get the Quest Games Optimizer. It does cost $4.99, but in my opinion, it's worth every cent. There are consistent updates on it always being done, and there is a great community that's constantly working to make it better and better. Once purchased, you're going to have to download the correct file type. If you have a PC, you could download the Windows only file and that is the easiest way to go. If you have a Mac, then download the APK. You're then going to want to extract the file. With your headset plugged into your computer, double click installation. Once finished, you're going to close the window and do the same thing with ADB Wi-Fi connection. If you're using a Mac, you're going to have to install the APK using SideQuest. Just be sure to have wireless ADB connection enabled. And just as a side note, if you reboot your headset, you are going to have to reestablish the ADB Wi-Fi connection. Unfortunately, there's no workaround. It's just a Android limitation. Now let's put on the headset and try out the app. With your headset on and your app menu open, click all in the top right hand corner. Then under the drop down, select unknown sources. From there, you're going to want to select the Quest Games Optimizer. Once it's open, make sure to turn it on. Then click on a game you want to customize. From there, you can change the resolution, switch the hertz, take the limits off the CPU and GPU, and a ton more. In a lot of cases, it might be best just to choose a pre-made profile. If you don't know what you're doing, the game could end up running worse. Here's what it looks like on contractors with everything maxed out. As you could see, I would be better off just using a pre-made profile. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please just comment them down below. Please subscribe for more VR content, and until next time, this is Andy's VR Reviews.